Okay, let's go to problem 6.41 of Sontag. 6.41 of Sontag. We have R134A, superheated R134A, which is at 500 kilopascal. Okay, so it is throttled to 600 kilopascal in a steady flow through a valve. So basically, we have a throttle valve. We have the inlet and we have the exit. It is given that the inlet condition is saturated vapor and the pressure is equal to 500 kilopascal. After the throttling process, the pressure is 200 kilopascal. The kinetic energy in the inlet and the exit flow is the same. What is the exit temperature? So for a throttle valve, it is a steady state steady flow process there is no heat transfer there is no work extracted there is no work input as well it is given additionally that the kinetic energy remains the same at the inlet and the exit For the steady state steady flow process with one inlet and one output, Mi dot is equal to Me dot and Qi dot plus Mi dot Hi total minus W dot minus Me dot He total is equal to zero. So both of these are for steady state steady flow process. So Qi dot is equal to zero, W dot is equal to zero, therefore mi dot hi total is equal to me dot he total because the kinetic energy contributions are equal we cancel mi dot me dot from both the sides because they are equal so hi plus half vi square is equal to he plus half ve square we neglect the changes in kinetic energy as uh, the potential energy as well plus hi is equal to he so hi the initial state is given this is the initial state x equal to 1 p equal to 500 this is known he we have to find out so we have been given that the final pressure is this so using this equation you know that the final enthalpy is known so enthalpy and pressure this will yield all the other properties that are required I need to know what is the exit temperature ok it's a very easy problem so inlet conditions x let, us, let me call them as 1 and 2 so that we can eventually plot the process in a in the appropriate phase plane x1 equal to 1 and p1 is equal to 200 kilopascal exit conditions so we just know that H2 is equal to H I H1 and we know that the final pressure is equal to 200 okay so the initial pressure the inlet pressure is equal to 500 and not 200 okay so H1 is the enthalpy of R 134A at P equal to P1 and X equal to X1. So now we know this condition. So T2 is equal to temperature of R134A P equal to P2 H equal to H2. Because the pressure and enthalpy are able to define the unique point in the phase plane. Therefore the P and H are able to give me the appropriate value of T. If I want to plot anything in the TV plane, I must know the initial temperature as well. So the temperature corresponds to the saturation temperature at the corresponding saturated vapor, at the saturation pressure. Okay. Because we are given that it is saturated vapor, inside the vapor dome including the liquid and the vapor, the pressure determines automatically what the temperature should be. So this is equal to per H of 134A at P equal to P1 and X equal to X1. 
we note that any value of x would have worked but just to be on the safer side I've used the x that we have taken here any value of x would have given the same temperature because this temperature is the saturation temperature at the saturation pressure okay. so let's see okay the enthalpy is equal the temperature has changed let us try to plot it in a PT plane okay plot property plot R 134A okay so let us okay let's plot it on the TH diagram let us include the isobars of let us include the isobar of 500 kilopascal and 200 kilopascal okay so in the pt plot this is the oh sorry in the th plot this is the dome this is the isobar and this is the upper isobar now we must overlay on this the temperature and the enthalpy so we go to plot overlay plot on the x-axis we have the enthalpy specific enthalpy the y-axis we have the temperature okay okay let me just zoom over here so this is the process this is the process Initially, we were in the saturated liquid point upon which the throttling process took place. Because the throttling process took place, the pressure changed from the isobar at 500 kilopascal to that at 200 kilopascal. The throttling process is an isenthalpic process. So the enthalpy remains constant. Okay, the enthalpy is remaining constant along this line the enthalpy is remaining constant but we are given that the process takes to the final pressure of 200 kilopascal this line is 200 kilopascal thus 200 kilopascal here and the enthalpy remains constant thus the intersection point is the second point this point is the second point this chart is called as the Molière diagram this is called as a Molière diagram okay this process is an isenthalpic process throttling for all practical purposes is an isenthalpic process it's an approximation but we assume it to be an isenthalpic process the enthalpy at the inlet and the out outlet are the same the inlet was saturated vapor and the outlet was superheated vapor R134A changed the pressure from 500 kilopascal to 200 kilopascal during the throttling process. During the change in pressure, the temperature also reduced. The final temperature obtained is how much? Let's see. What is the final temperature obtained? Final temperature obtained goes from 15.71 degrees Celsius to 7.382. Okay, there's a reasonable drop in the temperature as well. Okay.